I was talking to a woman on TikTok this morning who said she gained 10 pounds in 45 days when she started tracking her calories. Number one, unless you're taking measurements, you don't actually know what's happening. You could be losing body fat and gaining muscle. Muscle weighs something. If you are somebody who has a very high body fat percentage to low muscle mass ratio, it's very possible that you could be gaining muscle and losing fat simultaneously. If you're not taking measurements, you don't actually know. That's why we don't just go by the scale. Number two, in order for you to gain 10 pounds of fat, do you really understand how much you'd have to eat? It's a lot. So let's say your maintenance is 2000 calories. You have to eat 3,500 to 5,000 calories on top of maintenance to gain one pound of body fat. Let's do the math. Let's say it's 5,000. Let's use the top end of the range. 5,000 plus 2,000 is 7,000 times 10 pounds would be 70,000 calories. So 55,000 calories to 70,000 calories is what she would have had to have eaten in a 45 day time frame to gain 10 pounds of body fat. She did not eat that much food in a 45 day time frame. So what she saw on the scale, the 10 pound increase on the scale is not body fat, not all of it, but we don't know like what her body composition is. We don't know if she was gaining some fat and gaining some muscle. We don't know if she was losing some fat and gaining muscle. We have no idea because she's only looking at the scale. And this is the problem a lot of you midlife women have. You don't understand that you can't play these tricks with the scale anymore and look at it the same way you did when you were 20 and you had a lot more muscle. Now you have a lot less muscle, a higher body fat percentage, and so that means you need to put on muscle in order to lose fat. And that means the scale may actually do things that you don't expect. So you may actually be headed in the right direction, but if you're only looking at the scale, you may be giving up. This is why I created that weight loss blind spots workshop because many women don't understand this stuff. You're still kind of in that mentality of what you did in your 20s and early 30s and you're just kind of chasing scale and starving yourself. But you can't do that anymore because your body composition is in a different place. And when you have higher body fat percentage and lower muscle mass, your resting metabolic rate is much lower, which makes it easier for you to regain weight and makes weight loss very, very slow. You can't play these games anymore and you can't just be living and dying by the scale because when you put on muscle, that's much needed muscle to help your metabolism burn energy. And that may mean that the scale goes in a different direction than you're used to. It really just depends on your history and your current body composition, what's going to happen. But again, this is why I think a lot of women are just kind of banging their heads against the wall, but they don't really understand how this stuff works. Hopefully this makes sense.